uh, they're down to their third string faceoff guy. That was their kind of like, you know, they was like they were sort of doing like a, you know, TD light kind of strategy. Like, let's just keep the ball away from the defense. Well, Hofstra won a million faceoffs in that game on Tuesday, and it's like, well, if you can't win faceoffs and you got that defense, every game is, every game is competitive. Like, just uh, so I don't know, man. It's not. You might want to, yeah, you right. You honestly might want to watch for that Yale Albany game. Uh, you know, I mean, Regan Endress for Machado Rodriguez and Nicholas Ramsey were both 64%. But uh, Nicholas Ramsey um, hasn't played since April 9th against BU uh, for Yale. Um, and he went off hurt. And then Machado Rodriguez took seven of eight faceoffs against Dartmouth and then went out of the game. So they since have been with Anthony Nunziata. He was 12 of 22 against Dartmouth, but he was 7 of 28 against Hofstra. So uh, Regan Endress for Albany, 58%. I mean, if Albany can win faceoffs, we know they can kind of push from transition with Jake Bassanio. Um I'm just saying, man, like I would... Albany against Virginia. I mean, they were kind of, you know, like they were kind of in that game for a little bit. I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I don't. Yale, I don't know, man. That's on a short, short rest. Doesn't feel great. <laughs> um, Jake, what do you think the line is? Because they are out. Uncomfortably high for Yale. I would hit. I would hit Albany cover and. Uh, here's a good question. I'll give this to you. Against not, how about this? You tell me the line, and then I'll tell you against non Lemoyne opponents. What do you think Yale's biggest margin of victory is this year? All right, so the line is plus five. Hofstra plus, five. and Hofstra That's does have a better face off. Or sorry, uh, plus five for Albany. And Albany does have a better face-off statistic-wise. Shout out to Zach. Uh, adjusted face-off uh, percentage is 17 as opposed to Hofstra's 23. So if they have as good of a face-off day and maybe a little bit punchier of an offense, um, <laughs> which Albany does just a tad, 30.9 to 29.3. Um, yeah, it could be interesting. So Yale, nine wins. Their best margin of victory in a game all season is seven. That was against Dartmouth, actually. That's a game they were they were actually late. After that, which two they were losing too, remember, right? Yeah, they were, after that it was six against Brown, and then after that two against oh ten against Colgate. Pardon me. So they got some, but like two against Villanova, two against Denver, two against Harvard, six against Brown, three against Penn, two against BU, four against Hofstra. Like okay. up seven or eight against Penn State before that that just collapsed. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, close games, like, just... And here are their goals against in these games. 11 against Nova, 11 against Colgate. A 10, like, you win by 10, you still give up 11. <laughs> I mean, 15 against Penn State, 13 against Denver, 15 against Harvard, 18 against Cornell, 10 against LeMoyne, 10 against Brown, 9 against Penn, 16 against BU, 13 against Dartmouth, 12 against Ostrich. Hmm. I mean, I... I might consider plus five. Yeah, I probably. I'm really that feels. Uh, I could. I could. I certainly could. I mean, Albany adjusted offensive efficiency, thirtieth. A pretty decent offense. They don't get a lot of saves, which makes you feel a little against that Yale offense. But again, you can't outscore a bad defense, man. No, you can't. So it doesn't feel great for Yale at the uh, at the moment. Uh, Safe, what else are you looking at Friday night? Uh, 